Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, Module 8, Lesson 1, Translations. After this lesson, you need to be able to translate figures on the coordinate plane and use coordinate notation to describe translations. Let's learn. Transformations. A transformation is an operation that maps an original geometric figure onto a new figure. A transformation can slide, flip, turn, or resize a figure. When we're talking about transformations, the original geometric figure is called the pre-image, while the new figure, after something has happened to it, after it's been transformed, that is called the image. So we have the pre-image, which is the before, and the image, which is the after. On our graph here, we have a point that has been transformed into a new point. So something happened to turn point A here into the same point down here. When we see these on a graph, the letter that has no apostrophe, so here it's just a regular A, that is the pre-image. So no apostrophe, that's the before the pre-image. Then, as you start to transform the shape, you will start to see these apostrophes showing up. They are read as the letter and then prime. So this is A prime, and that shows that something has been done to transform it into a new place. If there's one apostrophe, so one prime mark, one thing has been done to it. If you're going through and see a letter that has two apostrophes, which would be read as double prime, that would mean that two things were done to it to go from the pre-image to the image. Let's learn translations on a coordinate plane. A translation is a transformation that slides a figure from one position to another without turning it. So a translation is a slide. When you're translating a figure, every point from the pre-image is moved the same distance and in the same direction. So here we can see a triangle. We look for the ones without the apostrophes. That's our original pre-image. And then we see how it moved. So here it was translated three units to the left and two units down. So each point went three spaces left, two spaces down. And it wasn't just one that did it. All of the points followed that same pattern. Doing this with a translation, the image and the pre-image are congruent. They are the same shape and the same size. Example 1. Translate figures on the coordinate plane. The graph of triangle JKL is shown. Graph the image of triangle JKL after a translation of 2 units right and 5 units down. Write the coordinates of the image. So in order to make a translation two units to the right and five units down, we're going to take every single point and follow the path that it told us. So starting at point J, two units to the right, five units down, and we end up at point J prime, which is right here. Doing the same to K, two units to the right, five units down, we end up with K prime. And L, to get to L prime, we follow the same path, two to the right, five down. So we have our pre-image here and our image after it was moved two units to the right and five units down. Again, these two figures are congruent. They are the same shape and they are the same size, just in a different place. With translations and other transformations that we're going to see in future lessons, it's going to be important to be able to write the coordinates of the image after something happened to it. So we can use our graph to see where our new coordinates are. So J was originally at negative 3, 4, which we showed right here. Where is J prime? After we moved it 2 to the right and 5 down, J prime is now here at negative 1, negative 1. If we check K, K prime went 3 units over and 2 down, so 3, negative 2. And then L prime would be at negative 2, negative 4. So after we moved the entire shape, we can see where the vertices end up and write our coordinates from there. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and answer both parts. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. First, if we're plotting our original pre-image points, we have D, E, and F. We want to do a translation, five units left and three units down. So I'm going to take each point, one, two, three, four, five, so five units left, three units down would be there, 
five left, three down for point E would be there. So there would be my E prime. And five left, three down would be right there. So after we plotted it, what are the coordinates of our image? D prime is over here at negative four, negative two. So there's your D prime after this was D. E prime is down here at negative two, negative five after E was right there. And then F was up here. F prime is at negative one, zero. So right there. Let's learn translations using coordinates. The coordinates of a translated image can be determined using coordinate notation. What coordinate notation is essentially just tells you what happens to the coordinates without actually graphing it. Honestly, it might be faster just to graph it and put your new coordinates that way. However, coordinate notation is a different way to do it. So first, let's look at what coordinate notation is. Here we have a point J, which was at 3, 2. We can see J prime is now over here at negative 3, 4. So we need to figure out what happened to it so we can write it in coordinate notation. This coordinate notation just pretty much tells you what happened to the coordinate. When we're translating it left or right, so in this case we went left, a value a is added to the x-coordinate. So in coordinate notation, we add a value a to the x-coordinate. x goes left and right, so this tells us what we're doing left and right. b tells you going up and down, and we add that to the y-coordinate. So Whatever the number it went left or right, we put it with x. Whatever the number we went up and down, we put with y. This is coordinate notation for a translation. So in this picture, since our coordinate j moved six units to the left, we can count our spaces, it went six units to the left, and two units up, we could write our coordinate notation. When we're doing this, we don't always really need that plus. That's just the generic formula, kind of like y equals mx plus b, even though sometimes our y-intercept went down. If we're going to the left or down, we're going to use a subtraction instead of a plus. If we're going up or to the right, then we would put a plus. So these are just the normal directions of coordinates, plus going up and right, negative going down and left. So in this case, j went 6 to the left. So we went 6 left and 2 up. Minus for left, plus for up. Putting this all together, we can see that horizontal translations are what's moving it left and right. So we would put that value with the x-coordinate. Vertical translations moving it up and down. So we would put that value with the y-coordinate. Here's what we just saw on the previous slide. And if we're looking at the shapes here, again, no apostrophes or no prime symbols. I mean, that's the original. So it went like this each time. What happened to it? It went three to the left and down two, three to the left, down two. And that is coordinate notation for a translation. In the next couple of lessons, we will see how the coordinate notation works for the different types of transformations. They're all slightly different, but they do all involve what happens with the coordinate of the shape to get from the original pre image to the image. Example two, translate using coordinates. Triangle XYZ has vertices X is at negative one, negative two, Y at six, negative three, and Z at two, negative five. Write the coordinate notation for a translation of two units left and one unit up. Then write the coordinates of triangle X prime, Y prime, Z prime. So first, let's write our coordinate notation. We have a translation, two units left, one unit up. Left tells me that I'm gonna have a subtraction sign. Up tells me I'm gonna have an add sign. So to translate two left, I'm going to subtract two from each X coordinate. We would write that as X minus two. And then to move it up, we're going to add one to each Y coordinate. So I would take the Y and add one. Putting this in coordinate notation, it would look like this whole thing. Our original coordinate right here, going to our image coordinate, we would subtract two from the x and add one to the y. Next, let's write the coordinates of triangle x prime, y prime, z prime. So we found our coordinate notation, which is right here. We're going to subtract two from each x coordinate. 
or move it to the left two. And we're going to add one to each y coordinate, which will move it up one. So if we take our x coordinate and we're going to subtract two from it, negative one minus two would give us negative three. And then if we add one to our y coordinate, we end up with negative one. So I'm following the rule set in my coordinate notation based on what it said. My new vertex for x, x prime would be at negative three, negative one. Doing the same for my y vertex, subtracting two from the x coordinate, I would get four. Adding one to the y coordinate, I would get negative two. And for my z vertex, taking away two from the x, I get zero. Adding one to the y, I get negative four. So based on my coordinate notation, I was able to go from my original coordinate to my image coordinate without actually having to draw it out. We could draw it out, but this is a different way to figure out those end coordinates. So after that, our three new vertices of x prime, y prime, z prime are at negative three, negative one, four, negative two, and zero, negative four. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and answer both parts. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. First, our coordinate notation, we are moving six units left, so that's subtracting from the x, and nine units down, subtracting from the y. So subtract six from x, subtract nine from y. If we're writing our coordinates, a prime would be at negative three, negative seven. If I subtract six and subtract nine, three minus six is negative three, two minus nine is negative seven. For b, subtract six, subtract nine, one minus six, negative five, negative three, take away nine more, would put us at negative 12, it's even farther negative, and negative five, take away six, is negative 11, zero, take away nine, is negative nine. We could double check by graphing and making sure that everything did in fact go six units to the left and nine units down, and we would see that that is the case. Example three, use coordinate notation to describe translations. Use coordinate notation to describe the translation. So here we have our picture. We can see that our pre-image is the one that has no prime symbols. So this is our pre-image. This one is our image, our after, because it has the prime symbol. Let's look for the corresponding points. So A, moving to A, we need to figure out what happened so we can use our coordinate notation. Point A was at negative seven, six. Point A prime was at two, negative one. So let's figure out what happened to get it there. How did I go from negative seven to two and six to negative one? Starting out my coordinate notation, I could do something like this. Plugging in where I started, I have to add a mystery value to each. Since we know we started at negative seven and ended at two, what do we have to add to go from negative seven to two? We must have added nine. Same for B. How did we go from six to negative one? We must have subtracted seven. So A, I'm adding nine, B, subtracting seven. Putting this into coordinate notation, we would say that we take our x value and add 9 and our y value and subtract 7. And we can go back to our picture and verify this. We said our x value, it was going this direction. Did I add 9? I went 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Yes, I did. Did I subtract 7? Down 2, 4, 6, and another 1, so down 7. So I can verify it in the graph that it was in fact x plus nine and y minus seven. Check your understanding. Use coordinate notation to describe this translation. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said x minus three and y plus six. I'm gonna just do point B to B since it's kind of off. So I have B to B. Let's make sure we're going the correct direction though. So the original is actually down here. It does not have the prime symbol. So it went up and then left. How many spaces? It went up one, two, three, four, five, six. How many spaces left? Three. So because it was left, it's subtract. Because it's up, it's plus. So I added six going up. 
subtracted 3 going left. Left goes with the x, up goes with the y. So x minus 3 and y plus 6.